Okay guys, um, so this is a quick uh, overview of uh, SPSS, uh, the interface specifically looking at the data view and the variable view. So the data view is where your data points go. See a memory S in the top there. If you go to variable view under name, memory S, that's a label that represents what the uh, scores are. In this case, it's a memory score. So it's got to be one word. If you have any spaces, uh, you'll come up with a syntax error. So I'll just show you. If I do that, it's not going to like it. Illegal character. It's got to be a single word. Memory S. You can change the decimal points if you want. Have one or two. You can include a, a label. If that happens, by the way, just uh, um, clear it like that. Click on there. Right click and then clear it. Um, you have values over here. We'll go into that in a second. And we have a label, memory score. So this is something that you can add in to explain what memory S is. Memory S is not that informative. If you want something with a nice space there to explain what it is, it's a memory score. So in our experiment, we're, we, we're using a between groups design for this. So there's gonna be three separate groups, three separate conditions. There's gonna be a control condition, an experimental condition and a um, sham condition. Um, so those are our three grouping variables and it's some kind of um, intervention for uh, assessing memory. Um, we don't have to go into the specifics of the experiment because it's unimportant. This is just utilizing a, a program, but just, from, just think of this as three different conditions in a between groups design. So remember between groups design is where you've got three different groups of people and each group is going to be assigned to an individual condition uh, as opposed to repeated measures where you've got a single group of people who are, to, who are assigned to all three conditions. So if you don't know what a between versus within group design is, I suggest you go back to my session on between versus within groups design because I, I do an entire session explaining the difference there. Um, now, how, now, if you're doing a between groups design or, or repeated measures within groups design, um, how you enter data is um, um, affected by um, your design type. So remember, between groups design, another word for that is independent measures. But, uh, within groups design, another word for that is repeated measures. So repeated across the three conditions. So here is one group variable that I've just taken from this Excel sheet. Uh, here, is a, here is the sham group. So I'm using a between groups design. In a between groups design, you, let, you list all the data scores. And here's the experimental data. So you list all the data scores on a single column. This is between groups design. Go to variable view, write the word group here, signifying that you are using a between groups design. And you need to include values. So value would be uh, one for control, add it in. Two could be sham. And three could be um, experimental, that's all I need, add that in. So you've got one, two, and three. So you'd only see the numbers one, two, and three when I enter it in, but they mean control, sham, experimental. Click OK, and that's done. You can see that there. Go back to the data view. So we know the first 12 are, and by the way, guys, you can just copy and do that and do something like this. Copy it in if you want it to go faster. Uh, delete. Delete, 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 because remember the first 12 are uh, group one, group two, the next 12, so the next 12 represents this column here in the Excel file. So this is the sham group. Uh, what is it? Uh, 12 to 24. And the last one would be this group here, which is the experimental condition. And I've, I've stated this as if it was an experimental study. The reality is it doesn't really um, matter. Um, that could be basically, it could be a survey um, and that could be preference, preference uh, between three 
different groups. Group one could be, let's say, let's say socioeconomic conditions. Group one could be something like uh, um, uh, people with low socio socioeconomic income. Um, group two could be people with um, mid mid levels of income, and group uh, three could be some some uh, individuals in the high income group, and maybe the scores could be something like preferences for um, soda drinks or something like that. It doesn't really matter, you know, what the data is. It's just an experiment. I don't, uh, it's more about trying to show you how to use this interface as to what the experiment is actually about. So we've got three groups: one um, low income, two mid-income, three high-income, and in scores on preferences uh, for Diet Coke, let's say, um, on a scale to one, one to 10, or let's just say that. Um, or it could be control, sham, experimental, doesn't really matter if, you, if, you, if it was a survey or an experiment. So um, that's how to enter it, and we're only gonna do entering um, for a between groups design. If I was going to do a repeated measures design, um, I wouldn't have this column here. So what I would do, I'd get rid of this, clear, and I would um, take it from 13 to 24. That is your sham group. And I would take 13 on then to 24. And that is your experimental group. If it was a repeated measures design, what you'd have is you'd no longer have the word memory scores like that. You'd have the individual condition names. So this would then be control. Uh, this would then be uh, sham. And this would then be um, experimental condition like that. So no values there. So that's the important difference between a between versus within design when you're entering data. This is now um, repeated measures. This is now a within design, how to enter it in terms of within design. It's very, very important because the next day we're gonna go into analyze and we're gonna do some statistics on it. It's very, very important to know this first stage. Um, okay, guys, so um, that's basically everything I wanted to show you for this. And by the way, that could have been low uh, income, mid income, high income, low income, mid income, high income. Um, in the next session, then we're going to go into um, looking at normality distributions, um, doing some kind of pre analysis on the data before we decide to do a parametric or non parametric test. So please stay tuned for that. Thank you very much.